One of the things that you want to make sure of is that when you do estimates on service tickets that you don't ever delete them. You leave them alone. If the customer decides they don't want it, then just leave it as an estimate. It's not hurting anything. It's not pulling parts or messing with any inventory. Um, but leave it on the job or leave it on the service ticket. And then when you cash out the job or the, the service ticket, just leave that job on there. Leave the estimate there. Um, put a note on it saying customer rejected the, the estimate, but just leave it. Um, one of the reasons is that one, you can go back in history and you can see that you gave them an estimate to do something and they rejected it and you can put a date on there when they rejected it. Um, the second thing is, is that they may come back at a later time and want that work done. So if that, if that happens, you don't want to have to go back and retype the entire estimate so that you can put it back on, his, on, on a new job. So what will happen is that if you have ever done an estimate for a customer, for a unit, and that unit comes back in for service, you will have a, a, a new icon or another icon that shows up here on the unit that says previous estimates. And if you select it, it'll give you a list of all the estimates that the system that you'd ever done in the system for that unit in the past. No matter who the customer was that owned it at the time, it'll still, it attaches itself to the unit. And I can just select the create job and Lizzie will go create the job and put all the parts and all the other information that was on that original estimate on my new service ticket. So it's a very quick process. Just make sure you don't ever delete estimates. Just put a note on them and leave them there forever. Um, and because again, it's, it's not hurting anything and you get this extra functionality uh, if you have them.